Hi, my name is Ivan Musto and today I'll be talking to you about the dangers of the scams you can find in Cambodia. Well, uh, Cambodia is a relatively safe country. Uh, Khmer people are actually very honest and most of them are very friendly and welcoming to foreigners. But Cambodia is still a poor country. That's why you have to watch out for some things which are not many, but still you have to be careful and you have to know too. So <clears throat> one of the most common things that you will find in Cambodia is uh, children asking for money. My experience, uh, I never give money to children on the street because most of these children they work for adults or or are just pimps meaning that they they work for people or for a gang and they collect the money and they just give the money to uh, their parents or they give money to these pimps so I don't advise you to give money to the children on the streets. Instead, you should give money uh, to charities, organizations. Uh, you will see uh, some people singing on the streets, like especially disabled people. I think it's not a bad idea to give money to those people because uh, they, they are part of uh, small groups or organizations especially uh, with disabilities but giving money to the children it's actually a very bad idea because these children might even use the money to use drugs or uh, breathe glue because some of them are addicted or like I say they work for pimps so they they give money to uh, gangsters or to gang members that's why i don't advise you giving money to children if you want to help the children give food don't give money uh, another scam that uh, i see in cambodia is uh, mothers with babies uh, asking to to go with them and ha and help them to buy milk or any baby products that's a scam because they will bring you to a shop and they will ask you to buy and pay 20 to 30 dollars and they get a commission out of it so don't do that if they ask you to buy something for them especially mothers with babies the best advice for me is just ignore them don't uh, listen don't uh, answer to them just ignore uh, and uh, yes uh, about uh, other schemes uh, sometimes uh, if you take a meter taxi or a meter pass app or grab the most popular uh, metric uh, transportation systems in Cambodia which come with a meter make sure that you ask them in advance if they use the meter or not and always try to book with the app. If you take a, a, a tuk-tuk that is not registered with a meter, you have to bargain the price well in advance. Don't just uh, come and then uh, sit because they might charge exorbitant prices in the end. So make sure you bargain and agree the price in advance. And uh, one more thing uh, that you should uh, watch out or just uh, take note is that there are some foreigners uh, that live in Cambodia that actually steal and uh, commit crimes like they they rob in a supermarket or maybe they even steal things from foreigners they scam foreigners it I'm talking about foreigners scamming other foreigners yes believe it or not it's actually becoming more common in Cambodia there are such foreigners so be careful whom you trust. You can get scammed, you can get robbed. So be very careful on that. And actually, this is actually rising in Cambodia, which is quite strange and alarming. 
and uh, also on the riverside be careful because uh, uh, there have been uh, some muggings so you have to watch out you have to always uh, you need to be watchful of your belongings when you take a motor dope or uh, a, 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 a motor taxi uh, always uh, keep your bag next, next to you keep your valuables next to you I've had uh, friends of mine that have been robbed while driving a motor dupe or a motor taxi and even uh, people that have uh, have been robbed while driving their own motorbikes so you have to be careful don't put your bag uh, at the at the side because it's easy to they are professional they will just drive next to you and they will cut your bag and they will steal everything and run away so be very careful keep your bag next to your chest or keep it perhaps at the back but the best is keep it uh, on your stomach or on your chest so put your bag this way because uh, it's quite safe and uh, it won't be uh, much of a problem for you so please be aware of this and uh, yes uh, I've heard also stories of uh, people uh, be uh, people getting uh, uh, like uh, robbed in their uh, condos or apartments, but this is very rare. But these accidents actually do happen. So make sure you lock everything at night. You lock your doors. You lock your windows. Don't leave the windows open. This is uh, very common uh, in Phnom Penh, not in other parts of Cambodia. So, if you get, if you are uh, uh, burglared in your home or apartment or condo, just uh, be calm because uh, thieves do carry weapons. But this is rare, but it does happen. So make sure you lock everything and you keep yourself safe. And lastly, uh, talking about the children selling souvenirs or postcards, you have to understand that most of these children, they sell for a living. And this is common in Siem Reap. You will find kids selling postcards, uh, handmade products. Uh, what I think is that it's not bad for them to sell because they make money, sometimes they they use that money for their education, for their food, and also to help their families. But uh, of course, uh, it's up to you, but uh, it's better to buy products than to give money without any reason. So yes, uh, this is all I have for you. Cambodia is a very safe country in my opinion. There aren't, there aren't many scams, there aren't, there aren't many dangers. But these are some of the things you should watch out for. And yes, uh, if you enjoyed this video, like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and feel free to ask me any questions about Cambodia. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.